guys, it is Jen with Mother Time. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am so happy you are here. And if you are new here, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you never miss a video. Today is gonna to be another fun one, you guys. It is a craft with me video. I have five new crafts that are fun, easy, and affordable. You'll have to let me know in the comments below which one your favorite is. This is gonna be fun, so let's get started. The first DIY, I'm gonna show you how I make a tear tray using two cake pans, a pizza pan, and two candlesticks from Dollar Tree. I'm also going to add some little feet to the bottom of mine. This is totally optional, and those wooden balls are from Hobby Lobby. And now I'm gonna spray everything with Rust-Oleum Heirloom White Spray Paint. Once my spray paint has dried, now the fun begins customizing my tear tray, and I'm going to begin by adding a coat of folk art paint in the color barnwood to the top and bottom of each piece. I like to apply the paint with a nice thick brush. The brush that I am using is by Annie Sloan and I am just dry brushing it on, giving a thin coat of paint because I will be adding another layer of paint on top. My end result is I want to kind of give this a faux wood look so I'm not applying the paint thick. Next, I'm going to apply a light coat of wax using folk art wax in the color antique wax that I get at Hobby Lobby. I'm applying the wax lightly, trying to achieve a faux wood look. Once it's dry, it's time to assemble my tear tray using clear E6000 that I get at Hobby Lobby, but you can find this at all of the craft stores. And I'm going to begin with adding my base, then a candlestick, then one of the cake pans, another candlestick, and then ending with the top cake pan. Once assembled, it's time to set it aside and let it dry. I like to let this sit overnight. And now for my favorite part, decorating and styling the tear tray. I love doing this with seasonal decor, and for this one, I am going to decorate it for Easter. And here it is all done. I love the way that this turned out and you would never know that this began as a pizza pan, two cake pans, and a few candlesticks. For the next DIY, I'm gonna use this bucket from Dollar Tree and add a coat of spray paint to it with the Rust-Oleum in the color Heirloom White. I want this to match my tear tray, so I'm going to begin by applying a coat of folk art paint in the color Barnwood. And now I'm going to apply a light coat of wax on top using folk art wax in the color Antique Wax. Now 
Next, I'm making two knots using nautical rope from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to hot glue these on each side of the bucket. And finally, I'm going to just sand the letters a little bit just to give it a little distressing. And now I'm going to decorate this bucket using some faux plants that I had on hand. For the next two DIYs, I'm going to be using this vinyl top liner from Dollar Tree and these egg hangers from Dollar Tree. For the first one, I'm going to make a really pretty monogrammed door hanger or sign. So to begin, I'm going to trace the egg out on the vinyl and then cut it out. Next, I'm going to apply Mod Podge on top of the egg and then add my vinyl. and then trim away any excess vinyl. Next, I'm going to paint my letter. This letter is from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be applying folk art paint in the color Barnwood. and I'm going to hot glue the letter onto the egg. I made this sweet black gingham bow to add on top, and then I did decide to hang this, so I used a little needle to find the hole that was on top, threaded some twine through, and then I will hot glue the bow on top. And here is the monogrammed egg all done. For the next DIY, I'm going to use three of these eggs from Dollar Tree and I'm going to apply the vinyl on top just like I did in the last DIY. Once I have all three done, I'm going to line them up vertically and then on the top one, I am going to poke a little hole through the top hole just like I did on the last DIY and thread some twine through so I can hang this. and then I'm going to trim off any excess vinyl around the edges.
Next, I'm going to turn over all of my eggs, line them up, and then attach them together using hot glue and twine. I like to use an old wooden stick to really press in the twine into the hot glue and then I zigzag some hot glue on top as well. Next, I'm going to make three black gingham bows to attach to the top of each of the eggs. I'm going to apply hot glue to the bows to attach them to the egg. You can add letters to this too, just like the monogrammed egg. I almost added hot, but decided to keep this plain. And here it is all done. I love the way this turned out. To begin the next DIY, I'm going to use one of these long signs from Dollar Tree. They sell these signs for all different seasons. This one is from Valentine's Day. At first I thought I was going to want to use the front side, but then I decided I wanted the smooth side, so I flipped it around and removed the hanger and the staples. Now I'm going to apply a few coats of folk art paint in the color white and Adirondack on top. Next, I'm going to be using these chip decor letters from Hobby Lobby. They're about $1.29 a piece, and I'm going to be painting them with some black chalk paint. Once my letters are dry, I'm going to line them up on the board and then I use a pencil just to kind of put a light marking so I know where to hot glue them. Now I'm going to flip my sign over and use this black gingham ribbon to make a little hanger on top. And then I thought it would be cute to make a little bow to add to the bottom as well. And here it is all done. This is super cute to hang on the wall or to lean on the floor. guys for joining me today on this craft with me video i hope you enjoyed this comment below on what your favorite craft was and i will see you in the next video